First thing to do is um, probably design the height of it. I'm guessing about 14 inches in height. Then the extension part will come out. I'm guessing about 12. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut, uh, cut out the extension part first. I think the thickness I'm going to have it is about three quarters to one inch thick and probably about a 12 inch uh, neck that comes out of the lamp. So first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, plane this down and then I'm going to join it. Then I'm probably going to cut, uh, I would think about an inch and a half. I'm going to go ahead and rip uh, two inch and a half pieces uh, about 25 inches long. Okay, let's get started on that. From this point, I'm probably going to rip it down about an inch, inch and a quarter, somewhere in there. Okay, I already sent it through the table saw to make sure both ends were the same width and then I already jointed it. So what I've decided to do instead of one, one and a quarter, I'm going to make it two inches. So I'm going to get uh, two two inch pieces out of this. Okay, I'm now going to take both pieces over. Uh, and send them through the joiner. All right, from here, I'm gonna. This will make. A, I'm gonna cut this in probably uh, 16 and then a 12. This will give me the top section. And then this other one, 16, 12, or probably it'll give me my my height on my lamp. So I'm gonna go ahead and cross cut these. I'm now I'm gonna cross cut these. Okay, this is all just. Kind of approximate. Uh, I get about 18 inches. It'll give me two 18 inches and two 16 inches. Uh, this, I'm thinking the 18 will give me my height on the lamp. 16 will give me out this way, but I think it's too much. But I'd rather have too much and not enough. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut these. Now see my plan is that I'm going to glue these together and I'm going to have the cord running down, the electric cord running down the middle of these. So my next design is probably going to deal with uh, cutting this out a little bit so I have more wood back here so when I set up my pivot point I got more places to adjust the height. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is, if you noticed, I marked on here with some pencil on all these. It's Remember, this is just designing. Um, I think it'll work out. If not, I'll adjust. But I'm going to go ahead and rip, rip it down to about here on every one of these. Then when you flip it over, of course, the blade will be further in. But uh, let me rip these down first. Okay, I sent them through the table saw. Now, if you noticed on here, Here's my mark, but if you flip it over, it's cut away over here because of the saw blade. So now I flipped it over. What I'm going to do is take a jigsaw and I'm just going to cut myself uh, a circle on all these. Okay, I'm going to just, this is just, I'm guessing at all this, so I'm going to go ahead and cut all four of these. cut out. Next step is I'm going to have to take it over, take these over the table saw and I'm going to cut probably, uh, if I had a dado set I could go about a quarter inch but I don't so I'm going to run a saw blade through this probably a quarter inch wide and probably oh, half inch deep on all four of these. That's where my cord's going to go, my power cord. So I'm going to take them over the table saw and do that. I got the blade set up, 
about three eighths of an inch high. So when I send it through here, it'll be cutting up in here about three eighths of an inch. Then once I go through, I'm gonna move this fence over a little, run it through again, probably a third time, keep moving the fence a little so I can get myself a, a groove inside here. Okay, I can pop this off easy enough. So that's where the, the power cord's gonna go inside the wood. Next step is um, put some, get some string and put it inside the two cuts, like so. Leave yourself extra. So when we glue this together, we can move this back and forth and make sure that the glue inside here is evenly um, distributed. So when we go to feed the power line through, it's not gonna hang up. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is um, Go ahead and glue these two pieces together. Okay, now we got the glue distributed. Put the string back in it. Like so. Just put them together and let's lay it flat like so and butt these ends up a little bit. That is not a big deal here, not a big deal here, but let's make sure they're flat this direction. Okay, now we're going to clamp them. All right, string is free. Okay, I'm going to do the other one just like this, but every five, ten minutes come through and move this string all around in there. Make sure that uh, Hold it tight at both ends. Make sure you're holding it real tight at both ends here, like so. Then, uh, <clears throat> as you pull it through, it's kind of like I guess you call it <laughs> dental flossing, but it's um, removing that glue or distributing it. Okay. And then uh, about 10 minutes later, come out and do the string again. About another 10 minutes, just make sure the string doesn't harden up inside there, so you keep it moving. Okay, I'm just kind of moving the glue around a little bit. Check the other side. Yeah, it looks good. Now I'm going to go ahead and tighten them down more. Not, not super tight, just tight. Yeah, that'll about do. Got a little bit here, here. All right. That's looking good, so move the string again. Keep it going back and forth. You don't want it too hard. Okay, we'll do the same thing to the other one. Both are now glued together. Okay, make sure that you uh, check about every 10 minutes. Come in here and pull the string taut. And go back and forth on all four corners. Make sure that glue is uh, distributed good. Give it about an hour or so, then you can pull the string out. Okay, let these sit for 24 hours and then we will take the clamps off. All right, it's time to take off the clamps. All right, now we got the clamps off and these are glued. <clears throat> I'm still debating on length because I can still cut off this side still. So I'm thinking maybe 14 by 14. That's about here about here but uh, the next step is we get out see these are going to go together like so when they tilt the lamp tilts so I need um, a little extension maybe three or four inches to put the shade on so what we're going to do I'm going to go ahead and take this piece and I'm going to go ahead and uh, surface both sides and I'm going to send the one side through the joiner and then I'm going to square it off in a table saw to make sure it's the same thickness. Then I'll joint this side. Okay, I want to get that done next. Okay, I planed down both sides just enough to get them smooth. I jointed this side, then I sent it through the table saw just enough to square off this side so I make sure that it's the same thickness on both sides. And I already uh, jointed this side. Next step is that this is um, going to be the part that comes down so far 
and the lampshade will be on it like so. Um, the reason I made it so long is I don't send anything through the joiner or the planer less than like 12 inches, so that's why I got it so long. Next step is to rip down two pieces about like so. So I go ahead and put the dado inside it like this, and then I'll glue them together. So I'm gonna go ahead and rip these down. Next thing I'm gonna have to do is uh, send this through the planer and get it the right thickness I want. I'll plane it down till I get it maybe one inch. The reason for that is because um, once I put this in here, I can't cross cut this. So what I want to do is get it the right thickness. And then from there, I'll probably have to cross cut it down here somewhere. And then I'm going to go ahead and insert this in there. Okay. So I'm going to be planing this next to get it down to uh, probably about an inch. I got, uh, got it planed down about the right thickness. If you look here, it's about as wide as it's going to be. Now the reason I had to do that is because I'm going to have to take it over to uh, the miter saw and I'm going to have to probably cut maybe here and here. This ain't going to be very long. Now once I cut it this length I cannot send it through the planer anymore. So I got my thickness I think I need. So now it's time to go ahead and uh, cut this down. Now the reason I'm cutting this off now is so these two pieces are actually the exact same. Because uh, once I put that metal rod in there, I can no longer cut this. So that's why I'm doing this. Alright, from this point, so I'll be cutting this off later, but I don't worry about that side. But see the metal will be coming through here, so I can't cut this later. Now I know these two are perfect because the shade's going to go on here. I need this really flat. It's time to glue this together. So here's the electrical part I'm putting in it. Um, I ran this all the way up tight. See that's your plug. It's going to be your plug. I ran this up tight to this and I made the, um, if you look, I made the uh, cut out here where it fits in pretty snug. And I'm going to give myself about a half inch because I'm going to put the shade on inside this half inch. So. From here, we're going to go ahead and um, start gluing it together. I don't want this to twist inside there or pull out, so I can't take this off. Okay, and I'm going to push it down in there. I'm going to Tap it down, make sure it's all the way in there because it's got to be flat across. And now I'm going to add more glue on the top. I want to make sure this doesn't spin inside here. Okay, at that point, pull our string through, put the two pieces together. Now, what's really crucial is the front. So that's why I got that lock nut on there. It'll kind of line it up a little bit, not much, but it helps. It's got to be flat, and I'm pushing down. I want this flat as I can get it, and this is real important to be flat. That's why I cut it off. All the clamps are on. They're just they're snugged up. This is lined up really good here. All right, we got about a half inch or so, three inch half inch for the shade. Okay, now you make sure you run the string through every ten minutes or so for the first hour. Make sure uh, none of the glue drains inside there. So we're going to let this sit overnight. Next step is we're going to take this over to the planer and I'm going to thin these down next, both of these. Got them through the thickness that I like. Okay, the, kept sending them through until I got them about what I like. Okay, from this point I'm going to send the bottom part through the joiner. I'm designing this as I go, so I'm going to probably go ahead and cut right here and right about here that'll give me about 14 inches and cut here and about there that'll give me 14 on both of the lengths so I'm gonna go ahead and use that miter and saw and cut those off
Okay, both ends are cross-cutted. Now I want to get these level here, these two ends flat with each other, so I'm going to send it through just a little bit to get them level. Okay, we got these ready to go. Our next step is to start, go ahead and shape, we're going to shape these on the sander to get them uh, nice and smooth with each other, so let's go for that. All right, I got an 80 grit on here because I need a little aggressiveness to do uh, these corners here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand and I'm going to shape it to this angle. And then I'm going to maybe do a little design as I go, I'm not sure yet. I'm going to go ahead and round these off a little bit on this. I'm going to do both pieces. Okay, from here I'm going to uh, switch the sandpaper over to 120. Okay, went over everything with the 80. Now I'm going to use the 120 and go over the entire thing of the 120. I decided to put a pattern, a little bit of a pattern on this. So I'm gonna line it up at the edge of my table like so, the edge here flat. And then I'm gonna put a, I got a line. Right about, I got a line right across here. That's where this is lined up with. So when I do the other one, they'll come out the same. This one. I'm going to end right at the end of this and tighten it down. Now this is flat and this is on the line. So when I go across with a router, it's going to stop at the same all the way across on both sides. Now what I'm going to do is flip that over, do the same thing. Now all four sides are like this and it ends equal on all four sides. I'm going to do it both that way. Alright, got them all the patterns the same. A little bit of burn, but I'll sand that out of there. Next step is to sand these real good. I'm going to start out with probably a, a 120 and a hand and work my way up. <laughs> 